Welcome back high divers, today we're going to look at the Ryzen 5 5600G, which is an APU, iGPU, whatever you want to call it. The GPU is a Vega 7, integrated graphic. Welcome to Respawn PC, I'm Dunk, let's hell dive in. So playing with an APU, an iGPU, a Vega card, whatever you want to call it. We're going to start at 720p, low settings obviously, render at balance, and we have an average of 31 FPS. This is playable-ish, I guess. When you're on a budget, I don't think you, you care that much, I guess again. But for sure you will need that 16 gigabyte of memory, because I'm using 14, sometimes 15, I'm maxing out the memory I have available. Don't let you fool by the MSI Afterburner uh, memory usage of the GPU or iGPU because there's no way that iGPU is using only 5 400 megabyte of uh, memory. Now still at the same setting but not swarmed by bug we can get an average of 41 FPS but where's the fun in that when the goal of the game is to actually squash those bugs. But so far it's highly playable. I'm currently playing at uh, extreme difficulty and between swarm and non-swarm I'm averaging 30 to 40 FPS. Quickly changing the setting from low to medium, still at rendering balance at 720p and the FPS drop, like drop on unplayable scale. We get an average of 16 FPS on a good uh, day. It is really highly unplayable. So instead let's go back to low settings, still at 720p, but push the render at the quality instead of balance. And just by cranking that, you get a better visual quality. It's a look less bad, still highly playable, as the frame rate is now at 36 when you are surrounded by bug, and still at 41. FPS when there's no bug around, just running around. It is really highly playable. And that I didn't even overclock the CPU or the iGPU. Or what about you put the 32 GB of memory instead of 16? Maybe I'm bottlenecked by the memory. I don't remember how much I've allocated to the iGPU, but it seems that it take everything that I gave it. I'll try to make another video with 32 GB of memory instead of 16 and overclock the shit out of it to see if uh, we can get a higher FPS or even being able to play at 1080p. And by the way also, the memory I'm using is uh, 3600 uh, megahertz, not the standard 32 megahertz that everyone is using. That for sure help a lot, at least for AMD side of things. What I'm also surprised is the CPU usage. The 5600G is performing better than I thought. Uh, if you look at all the other CPU that I've tested, this one has the lowest CPU usage in the 50s, low 50s. The Ryzen 5 1500X was giving me 80% of usage. The i5 4690 was giving me 100% of usage. The i5 2500, 100% of usage. The Ryzen 5 2600 was giving me 80% of usage. The i3 10100F was giving me 91% of uh, usage. And the i3 12100F was giving me 87% of usage. So that Ryzen 5 5600G is a good choice for playing this game. At least for this resolution and settings. And if you want to die in a high quality, at least higher, you can try render ultra quality. That will give you an average of 35 FPS. 1 FPS less than quality. That's all for the Vega 7. See you in the next one. And subscribe.